Hey, welcome back. We're gonna keep this train going. I'm still awake. I'm still moving, have energy. So, we're gonna move on to chapter 61 of Beastars. We just finished up chapter 60. We just finished up chapter 60. Uh, Tim's Killer just got the drop on Lego C and beat him pretty badly. So, right now, he's uh, laying out uh, on the ground, bleeding out, I guess. So, we open up here with uh oh uh, 701 boys i forgot all their names but anyway let's get started chapter 61 you're like a moth flying under the moonlight so we have the 701 boys completely forgot their names but i remember best boy jack <laughs> ironically i mentioned jack did I? yeah i mentioned jack last chapter last chapter like during the very end like where's jack when you need him okay let's go all right, so they're playing a game. Oh my God, this is driving me crazy. Come on, you gotta be more careful about the tail attack. Jack, I think your phone's vibrating. Huh, you're right. If you're wet, then spray, oh, that's the. Let's see, Legosi is calling right after being viciously attacked by an unknown animal. Oh, he's calling Jack, aw. Hey, Legosi, where are you? Fuh, <gasps> Oh, that's kind of ominous. He can't speak. Aw. Oh. That's the sound his nose makes when he has a runny nose. It's like a sauce signal. Only he needs tissues. Fee, fee. Oh, I see. Oh, they have a they have a signal for each other. Okay, so that's his way of calling Jack. Got it. Alright, that's so... Aw. Oh. Jack is such a good boy. I don't know what it is about Jack's design. Jack is just freaking awesome. I don't know what it is. I have a soft spot for dogs, so whenever I see, like, Jack in the family, I'm like, oh my god, it's Jack. We love Jack. <laughs> like, look at his face. He just makes you want to love him. Ugh. I want one. I want a Jack. I'm going to get a Lab Labrador. Call him Jack. Or Labradoodle. Those are cool, too. Anyway. What? How could you tell? We've been friends since forever. It's my job to help Lego see whenever he's in fixes like these. Aw, and Legacy trusts Jack too, so that's why I called. A Labrador sense of smell is pretty decent. I can tell that he's outside the school, <laughs> but that begs the question: Where exactly is he? He's following Legacy scent. Oh, that's what a what a bro! It doesn't matter where Jack is. If Legacy calls him, Jack is gonna come because Jack is a good boy. <laughs> uh, I I just love Jack. Oh, he's starting to catch on now. Something smells like iron? Why? Oh, I don't like seeing Jack upset. Even when, even when it's like, a scene, we, like for context, we know what's happening with Legosi because, you know, we're reading along and we, we see it happening, right? And that's like, ah, oh, shit, it's happening with Legosi. But for Jack, it's like, oh no, something's happened to Legosi. So when Jack feels scared, you feel scared. And Jack is already an established character, so we have a reason to care for Jack. Like, we have a, a reason to care for Legosi's physical well-being because he puts himself in these dangerous situations. But what's really good writing is how they get you to feel for Jack by having us care about his mental well-being, right? So when Jack feels, you know, afraid of something, that hits us too. I, I definitely feel it, so. Let's see. And he's starting to panic. I like how we move from this panel to this panel to sudden, like, oh my god, sudden realization, and then we, this build up, and then we have a full on sprint because he's panicking. Like, oh, he's sitting this mixed with the smell of a great amount of blood. The very idea makes me want to break down and cry. Aww. We're growing farther apart as we grow older. It's come to the point where I can't even ignore it anymore. Aw, poor Jack. He's aw, he's booking it after Lego. See, he even dropped the tissues, too. Dropped everything to run to his friend. That's a bro. Everyone needs a bro in their life like Jack. Kind of makes me want to cry. <laughs> anyway. Um, I hear footsteps. Is Jack really coming for me? Oh, that's what's happening. Maybe I'm just hearing things, considering I didn't bother to tell him where I was. I just hope he doesn't get a panic attack from seeing me. He isn't good with blood. Let, let go see. No way. Oh, 
Oh, Jack. Thank you for coming. No, come on, don't die, Lego C. Can you see me? I can see you just fine. Could you free my hands? Your hands? Who did this to you? I'd like to know that myself. Aw. Poor Jack. We don't like seeing Jack upset. We don't like that. Oh, come on, chapter. Chapter 61. Okay. 61. There we go. Alright. Whoops, okay. So, I'm going a little too far. There we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey, so I'm going to stay away from school for a while. Okay, so Jack got him unbound. I want to tell you, my instructor, that I, I'm going to tell my instructor I'm going to go to my house to take care of my sick grandpa. What? Why? And one more thing. Could you return the textbook I borrowed from Callet? It's in the desk in my classroom. Sick grandpa? Oh, yeah, Legos, he does have a grandpa. They mentioned that before. We haven't seen any of their, like parents or whatever hmm. anyway I'm really counting on you <laughs> do this for me you know I'm feeling much better from seeing your face idiot you just said Jack isn't good with blood clean yourself up dude you need to go back to the dorm he might come back who's he your face is covered in blood look we need to take you to the infirmary someone needs to check on you no if I go back to school the school building I'll be killed for sure then then where are you going you don't need to know but I'll tell you this I will come back what the hell man I'm aware of how distant you've been these last few months you're not coming back are you oh that's sad come on man at least there's no reason for Legosi not to tell Jack where he's going like if he can't go back to school, there's only one place he can go, right? The only doctor we know. He's gonna go see Goin. Because this is, uh, I believe, cases like this, predatory offenders and whatever, are... <gasps> oh! You see the time? Merry Christmas, everyone. Whoever's listening, uh, wherever you are in the world... Uh, Merry Christmas, I wish you happy holidays and good fortune and, and all that good stuff and if you don't celebrate Christmas happy Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate I wish you the best I hear fireworks outside <laughs> ah, tis the season Season. anyway uh, my Christmas gift to you all is uh, a chain of uh, chapters <laughs> best I can do if it makes at least one person's day or night better, then it's worth it. Good gift. Um, so, let's continue. Oh, you're not coming back. So, but the Legacy has to come back. It makes sense that Jack... Jack feels so isolated from Legacy. Legacy is growing up. Legacy has been awakened. He's awakening. Uh, to what he is right now. Hmm. Aw. The flashbacks. I I wanted nothing more than for you to be happy. A clumsy guy like you growing up, making friends, studying for school, and getting a girlfriend. I wanted that. I wanted you to be stronger so you could better yourself. Why did it have to turn out like this? Aw. What happened? My question is... They're close, right? I'm trying to figure out what happened to Lego C because I feel like there's a lot. There's something there's something in between the lines that I just cannot see yet for Jack to be saying this. You know? Because I feel I have a feeling Lego C isn't just like this for no reason. Like B Star always has like cause and effect. Like there's substance to these characters. So Jack knows something about Lego C that we don't know yet. 
right? Because he has insight into Legosi, and they've known each other since they were kids. And Legosi's living with his grandpa, they said. So, sounds like his parents, maybe? I don't know. So, I don't know. There's just incomplete information in this, in this sentence. I feel like this has an undertone to it. But, you know, definitely does hit you in the feels seeing them as kids like that. The stronger you get, the worse off you are in life. I can't bear to see that anymore. Ah, that's that's the nature of having strength, though. Especially in a universe like this, whenever you get stronger, you're gonna you're gonna meet people. There, you're gonna meet people, rivals that will challenge you. That's what it means to be strong. That's the gift and the curse of having strength to challenge and be challenged. That's that's just how it is. And you see Legosi framed here and in the moonlight. Like, him bloodied and, you know, bruised. This is the price he's paying right now. And I don't, I don't know if that's a foreshadowing of things to come, but... That's a very, uh, ominous image. In that moment, Jack looked very radiant and distant. He is shedding tears of compassion on his golden face. My face is a deadpan and covered in dark blood. We're too different. I'm not strong because I want to be happy. Be on your guard, Jack. I don't want you to get yourself in danger. Lego C. What happened? Where did he go? Did he run off? He ran off. Okay. Did he climb something? Was that the fence? Is that a fence? Or is it a wall? Anyway, Legos he dipped. He's gone. He did the Batman maneuver. <laughs> you turn her you look away for one second and nope, he's gone. He's gone. Where is he now? He's cleaning off his face. Damn, I've got a cut. It won't stop bleeding. He used his necktie to stop the bleeding. <laughs> I don't want to be reported because of the smell of my blood. I'd best avoid a mammal-oriented car. They don't have a good sense of smell. Reptile car? Mm. They have heat, de heat, hu de heat dehumidifiers in there. Okay. How does he know that? Oh, well, he's at a school, so I guess. He's the only one I can rely on now. I need to hurry. Ah, cut some meat. Back alley market. I'm not going to see him so he can treat my wounds. What I need right now is advice. I need to know what I can approach. Ah, I need to know what approach I should take. I like seeing stuff like this. Just small stuff to remind you of the world that they're in. Because... Every time we move out of the school, I just like seeing characters, like, moving from place to place. Like, you get a sense of motion, like, because you know where the Cherryton school is, and you have an idea where the where the market is. So, I like seeing him on a train, just utterly defeated. Like this. This doesn't, like, ooze confidence, because he just got his ass beat. He's scared, and he's trying to hide himself. Anyway, the back alley market is tainted with desire. Who else better to rely on than someone who actually lives here? But now that I think about it, I haven't thanked him for helping me deal with the Shishigumi. In fact, asking for help right now is pretty presumptuous of me. I should buy him something. Excuse me, can I get some bamboo grass? Bamboo grass? How many bundles do you want? There are many types in there. Hmm, I'm stupid. I'm not looking for advice. What's wrong, sir? Sorry, I'm just looking for a place to calm my heart. Oh! The big man himself, Chief Panda. I'd love to see him. They have the same idea. I'd like you to take my order first, miss. 50 kilograms of giant bamboo and 5 bundles of Narihara bamboo. Narihara bamboo. 
I also want 30 kilograms of Kuma bamboo grass and 30 kilograms of the same thing ordered a while back to try to prep up my Rescus bamboo. Ah, to dry up my Rescus bamboo. All right, you sure eat a lot going. Would you like all that to go? Yes, this is nothing I can't handle. Such a Chad. He knows exactly what he wants. He's a regular there too. Is he wearing fur? Anyway. Hmm. <laughs> knew it. But you knew it was you. You look like shit. Fucking going. Such a bro. You look like you're doing well, your injuries aside. Oh. Um. Going. Your orders are here. Got it. Please come again. What I want is an advice. I will. Okay, this will last me three days. Wow, he's going to eat all that in three days. It's best to make a move to get what you want. That's a good way to live. Nor a place to calm my heart. <laughs> there is only one thing I want. It's now or never. Going. I need to be strong. Okay, so. Is this the Lugosi training arc? <laughs> I want him to teach me. I want to know what it means to be strong and the true meaning of the word. Interesting. A genuine plea for true strength to be continued in the next issue. Okay. So, that was chapter 61 of B Stars. It's getting good. Okay, so going so he's going to be training under going now. What would he have him train to do though? Interesting. Well, I enjoyed this chapter. It's actually pretty hype. I can't wait to find out what's going to happen next. Because, uh... Because Legosi has to go... He has to combat the killer. Like, I don't think it's someone that can be reasoned with. <laughs> At least I don't think so. Because they're animals, right? It's always... It's always going to come down to a display of strength. Right? In 1v1 combat, so... Hopefully no talk no jutsus out of this like Naruto infamously did. I want to see like swift resolution to this arc because it's getting spicy. I can't wait. I'll see you during chapter 61. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. All right, see you then.